Hello everyone. Uh, we're going to look at uh, specific kind of patterns, irregular patterns. We call them irregular because they don't have a common ratio. They don't have a common difference. So you need to figure out for that particular pattern, what is the pattern. Sometimes they'll give you uh, cubic ones. Sometimes they'll give you square ones. So here I'm going to show you a particular range of um, patterns that they don't have a regular pattern. We're going to look at two examples. This is the first example. When you look at this pattern, when you try to find the common difference, you don't. Let's see, when I have 16 minus 11, and then, it's 5. You remember with patterns, you need to take two consecutive terms and take the bigger one minus the smaller one. So I have 11 minus 7, 11 minus 7, is 4 7 minus 7 minus 4 is 3 4 minus 2 is 2 and 2 minus 1 is 1 so you see my difference here forms a pattern in my difference every time they've added one the first difference it was one they've added the one to the one from the pattern and then got a two. The second one, it was two, they added the two. Two plus two, they got a four. This one, they added a three, they got a seven. This one, they get a four, they get a 11. That one, they get added a five, they got a 16. So that's the pattern in this one. So the last time here, they added a five, so, and then they got a 16. If they say find the next three terms, they added a 5. For this one, they'll add a 6. So it will be 16 plus 6. Then you'll get 22. 22 plus 7. And get 29. 29 plus 8. And get a 37. So this is how the pattern works. They add 1 to the what they've added last time. So that's, that's the pattern. And let's look at another example. Before we go to example two, um, usually in a question paper, they will say, write the pattern in weights, in your own weights. So what did we do here? We increase the difference between consecutive terms by one each time. We increase the difference. You remember that thing that you've subtracted, we increase it by one every time. It was one, then two, then. And you remember that to get the next term, you add the difference. So the rule is we increase the difference by one every time. Let's look at the next example. With this example, it's 21 minus 13. Uh, it doesn't mean that always they work. You try it. You remember you start by trying the common difference. If it doesn't work, the common ratio. If it doesn't work, then you try this. If it doesn't work, you look whether it's quadratic. Is it, it, it doesn't mean there's a particular way of getting these patterns. You just try them. So this one, 12 minus it's a you try and wish there's a pattern so let's see maybe we wish this one is a pattern 3 minus 7 13 minus 7 13 minus 7 we get a 6 and then 13 minus 7 7 minus 3 it's a 4 and then 3 minus 1 you get a 2 right when you look at my difference do you see it's increased by 2 every time? Okay? So, if I have 21, that's my last term. 21, I'm going to add 2 to the difference and get the next term. I'm going to add 2 there and add it there, then get the, ne the next term. So, it means I'll have 21 plus 10. Then my next term will be 31. Right? And then 10 plus 10 is 12. I have 12 plus 31, then I get my next term to be 43. 43 plus 14, then I get my next term, 57. So this is my next three terms, right? Now let's do the rule. The rule in my own words is I increase the difference between consecutive terms by two each time. 
remember the, the difference was added by two each time okay this section is you just need to practice and then need to look at that particular question specifically there's no rule that fits everything so you have to really look at that and try if it works if it doesn't work try another one so this is the end of our lesson thank you for watching